Hey skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2023 ski test. We got a new one for you from Head today. This is the Head Shape V10, taking over from where the V Shape series skis left off last year. Uh, so this is an upgraded version of that ski for sure. Uh, we really like the short turning and front side capabilities of the V Shape series skis. All of that carries forward into Shape V10 but they're just putting a little bit extra uh, technology and sophistication into it, giving it that more of that high-end feel, but tons of stuff going on with this ski. Really great all-mountain option. It's 85 millimeters underfoot, so right in that sweet spot for blurring the line between front side and all-mountain. Definitely has the width of an all-mountain ski, but more of a construction and a personality of a front side carver. Uh, you know, we kind of always felt that that, that V10, the V-shape V10 was a great short turn and carving ski. That follows right through to this ski. Just adds more uh, sophistication and technology to the mix. Uh, we are built with a Karuba and ash wood core, so nice blend of lightweight energy in the Karuba, and then a denser and more energy absorbent ash wood core. So it's a great blend. We got two sheets of carbon and fiberglass in here. Uh, the top layer of carbon is curved. Anytime you're putting a curve or a bend in carbon, it really adds to the stiffness of the ski. So it makes this thing have that higher performance feel, you know, pretty stiff in that fore to aft flex in the ski for sure. And then they put in their performance backbone consisting of their energy management circuit and just some extra material here to absorb the vibration. So, uh, graphene strip down the center as well as this extra material really makes this thing very solid and stable throughout minimal vibrations they do a really good job of kind of harnessing the chatter and filtering it out uh, and that stuff is fi all filtered down from their higher performing skis but great option for that intermediate through advanced skier who's looking to make a lot of turns uh, this is the 170 we're looking at a 13.6 meter turn radius so pretty short with that arc, you know, definitely with a ski at 85 millimeters underfoot, getting down to a 13.6 meter turn radius does require you to get this thing up on edge. You do have to bend it, really access the entirety of that side cut. Uh, and that's kind of where the advanced skiing uh, range comes into play here. Uh, pretty light as well, 1,783 grams. That's including this system plate here, so you can, that's there to accommodate the system binding. Uh, but just having that track on there, add, I'm sure it adds a few, few grams for sure, but 1783 total in this 170. So that blend of carbon, graphene, uh, really just goes to make this thing a lighter weight, higher performing ski for those advanced skiers. Uh, certainly has uh, the width for off-trail capabilities, but I'd say this thing is more at home on groomed terrain and in a carved turn. A lot of camber underfoot on this ski. You know, whenever you see the ski kind of bounce up and down like that, there's a lot of energy built in due to that camber. And then for all intents and purposes, we're looking at a pretty fully cambered ski, minimal rocker up front, minimal taper, really getting that true tip to tail edge contact. Uh, you know, the widest part of the ski is right up front here. So each and every movement you put into it is going to get translated to the back end. Uh, and at which point that thing's pretty flat and squared off too. So no, you know, really no rocker back here. Just a little bit of a turned up tail to help you get out of the turn. Uh, but overall, that's a high performance shape to the tail. Widest part right at the end. You're getting that nice squared off triangulated shape that's going to hold on give you a longer effective edge uh, but a pretty dramatic side cut so kind of accessing and adhering to that turn radius is pretty important on this ski uh, as a result it has you know more capabilities in the mid-range of speed you know once you get it going faster it's a little harder to control because it does want to turn so you're looking at that mid-range of speed and turn style for this V10. Uh, but make sure you check out this new head shape V10 here at SkiEssentials.com, and we'll see you out there on the hill. Bye.